Thanks for joining us on Mission. Mission is supported by Star Ghana Foundation with funding from Danida, UK Aid and the EU. Now, Member of Parliament for Pandai, Matthew Nyundam, has donated 40 motorbikes to the Education and Health Directorate. The gesture is aimed at improving supervision in schools and health facilities in hinterland communities. The education and health sectors in the Pandai district are bedeviled with a myriad of challenges accounting for the poor performance of these sectors. Circuit supervisors, for instance, who are to monitor and furnish the education directorate with reports from schools in the district, do not regularly carry out their mandate because they have no improved means of commuting. This has given some teachers, especially those in hard-to-reach communities, the luxury to stay away from school during instructional hours. The mission team's visit to the Bula community on two occasions was evident. Here, teachers, after embezzling PTA levies, absent themselves from school while pupils remain the losers. What are you suggesting? That I shouldn't do the story at all. Uh, uh, so now we are pleading. Uh, I shouldn't do the story at all. Uh -huh. So that? Uh, that, one, that one will not work. If any cost, well, we can bear, we can bear it. That one, we will have a very happy. Circuit Supervisor for the area, David Sando, explained why monitoring in the hinterland schools are not effective. The machine I was using was too old. And uh, on, sometimes on my way, it gets spoiled. And going to meet teachers in the school was a problem. The situation is similar in all the eight circuits. Health workers manning community-based health planning and services facilities in the district also go through difficult times going on outreach programs and cutting off medical consumables from the health directorate to their stations. The situation would now get better because Member of Parliament for Pandai, Matthew Nyindam, who is also the Deputy Majority Chief Whip in Parliament, has supported the two sectors with 40 motorbikes. This is intended to enhance commuting in the face of poor routes. The NP, Matthew Nindam, said circuit supervisors have no excuse not to deliver. No security supervisor will tell you after today that he has no means to reach his circuit because at least we have eight circuits and every circuit supervisor should have one motorbike. Now that we've done this, we will hold them accountable and look at progress and look at outcomes and look at results in the near future and then maintenance too because if about a month or two, a security supervisor tells you his motorbike has broken down, we should ask questions. He believes other field workers would also benefit from similar benevolence. The Pandai District Chief Executive, Emmanuel Atta Tatablata, said the Assembly will complement the donation in the coming days. Most of our schools lack furniture. And it's the duty of our Assembly to be able to partner education to be able to provide them furniture. Because it is no good and nice for our children to be on the floor while they're steady. District directors of the two sectors were happy one of their challenges has been addressed. What I've been asking for for the officers and circuit supervisors to be able to work effectively has been granted. And that will help my circuit supervisors do their work as expected. Circuit supervisors want fuel to be effective. We need fuel because the whole of last time there was no fuel. And this time we have, we have started again. So if we, are, we have enough fuel, motorbike going around is not any problem. Improving education and health in the Pandai district would require resources and stakeholders' commitment. And that's all for Mission this evening. Mission is supported by Star Ghana Foundation with funding from Danida, UK Aid and the EU. 